compute the determinant of the following 4x4 four four matrix A by using cofactor expansion down column 2. In practice, we would use row 1 or column 4 because it is a 0 in it. That will reduce our work a little bit. Here, we just want to get a workout with cofactors. Now, start off with a definition. So, cofactors. The cofactor for the ijth entry, okay, so it's going to be row i, jth column. We take minus 1 to the i plus j, so we add row number plus column number, then we multiply by the minor for ij. So that's going to be, we take the determinant of the matrix where I cross out the ith row, jth column. That gives us a cofactor. To get the determinant, what do we do? We pick our favorite row or column. Then we're going to take the sum over the products in that row or column of the entries times the corresponding cofactor. That gives us our determinant. Let's see what's happening as we move down column two. So the big thing here is for a four by four matrix, it's going to be a giant exercise in bookkeeping. So let's proceed. What we're going to have is as I move down our column, the entries are going to be 2, 1, 2, 1. So over here, 2, 1, 2, 1. Next, let's work in the minus signs to a power. So what we'll have is, okay, here I'm going to have row 1, column 2. So it's 1, 2. Here I have row 2, column 2, 2, 2. And then as I move down, we'll get 3, 2, and 4, 2. That'll give me minus 1, 1 plus 2, minus 1, 2 plus 2, minus 1, 3 plus 2, minus 1, 4 plus 2. All I have to worry about now, the minors. So this is going to be crossing out the right row and column. For this entry, cross out that row, that column. I'm left with 2, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, and 1, 1, 2. Okay. Then we take the determinant. For the next one, right here, cross out row and column, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 2. Gives us our 3 by 3 here. I take the determinant, and then same idea as I work down the column. Now, where we're at here is all the bookkeeping's done. Now it's just a matter of computing our 3 by 3 determinants, and then just crunching the numbers down. So, for a 3 by 3, we have our diagonal trick. I can get my determinant by multiplying down 3 diagonals to the right, subtract off when I multiply down 3 diagonals to the left. In this case, what do we get? For our first one, 2 times 1 times 2 gives me a 4. 1 times minus 1 times 1 gives me a minus 1. 1 times minus 1 times 1 gives me a minus 1. And then I go in the other direction. So I have 2 minus 1, 1 gives me minus 2. We're subtracting so it becomes a plus 2. 1 minus 1, 2, another minus 2, which turns to a plus 2. And then 1, 1, 1 gives me a 1, which becomes a minus 1. So that gives me my first minor. Now note, we're going to go through that again three more times. And then this is going to crunch down to, okay, this expression here, which again crunches down to a minus 3. All right. Okay, this work I check in a different problem. Okay, it's going to be the one on an invertible 4x4 four four matrix, but it is checked. So the idea is we have other ways of computing determinants. Okay, we can use cofactor expansions, but you're allowed to do row operations before you expand. So that makes our work cut in half just about. 